What is up guys, Sawchasm here, and today I have for you guys an FAD, MOAB, playing some ground war, kill confirmed, on the map terminal, of course, and this mob, don't worry, I'm not just sitting, you know, staring at this little A domination spawn point the entire game, this mob actually consists of me moving around, you know, like moving around the map, <laughs> I'm just kidding guys, but, yeah, so it was kill confirmed, FAD, silencer extended mags, great combination for assault rifles, really haven't talked about, you know, class setups in quite a few videos, so let me kind of reinstate my thoughts on the assault rifle class setup, especially when going for mobs, specialists, and all that. So I like to use most of my assault rifles with silencer and extended mags. Now the reason for this is because the silencer obviously keeps you off the radar, and I find that if using it enough, like most of the assault rifles can be dealt with, you know, the iron sights, the recoil, most of them don't have traits that make it completely unusable like some of the LMGs for example I would definitely opt for like a red dot sight just because the uh, recoil well the view kick plus the recoil makes it uh, some of the LMGs a little bit hard to manage therefore for those I would definitely recommend in red dot sight for some of them but the assault rifles I find that pretty much all of them can be managed you know if you just practice a little bit with it and put some time into actually learning the iron sights and all that and it actually works out pretty well and the extended mags obviously more ammo you know uh... more ammo overall less <laughs> less need to run over scavenger packs and i don't know why i'm so tired today but it is interfering with my ability to talk coherently and um... yes on top of that you can take out multiple enemies at once of course and in ground war that's huge 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 because you're going to be running into multiple enemies at once anyway guys so today what I kind of want to talk about is, you know, risk versus reward in Call of Duty. You know, my playstyle is kind of low risk, medium reward. You know, I, there's not really too much reward involved. I mean, I go for Moabs, I go for double Moabs, but not really too much beyond that. Because I play a little bit on the safe side. So, I don't know, that's just how I like to play. That's how I enjoy playing. And it definitely, it works for me. It works for me, guys. So, I don't know, if you find a playstyle that works for you, that is, maybe it's a little bit more aggressive, you have a more aggressive playstyle, that's fine. But, my suggestion for you is to try to figure out, you know, the right times. You, there's a time and place for everything. There's a time to be aggressive, a time to sit back, play defensively. I don't know how that guy missed me. He fails epically. But, you kind of really want to, you want to, you know, there's times when you want to sit back take it slow you know for example if you are in a position where your team isn't really capturing flags and they aren't doing a good job of defending and by the way right there I did die on purpose okay I didn't shoot him on purpose I was trying to go for the double MOAB but oof, and that guy comes back for revenge I think that was the guy who missed me before but yeah so you know they're not they're not doing a good job of controlling objectives you want to sit back and play the objectives you want to be careful therefore low risk that's kind of what I do all the time to be honest except for when I do see an opportunity to be very aggressive you know if the um, the enemy I notice they're all focused on one direction that's an opportunity that I see to take a little bit more of a risk and then you know hopefully get a little bit more reward out of it that I'll be able to flank them and take them all out at once so yeah uh, try to find out a balance, you know, and the right opportunity time to do each of these things, and hopefully it will work better. And you know, if you incorporate the combination into your playstyle, it will be a lot more effective rather than just doing one. So anyway, guys, there's the MOAB, the Broab, the B R O A B. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed. If you hated it, be sure to dislike it, leave some hateful comments, and unsubscribe. Thanks for watching. Bow.